I'm Jeremy with Offensive Group for The Armory Life. If you've carried a firearm for any length of time, you understand that it's a process that you go through to figure out what works best for you. Each pistol designed for concealed carry has different features, from the texturing, the position and size of the controls, slide length, and even the size and design of the grip itself. Beyond these features, you need to find a pistol that has been widely adopted by holster manufacturers to make sure there's a wide range to find what fits best for you. The more options, the more competition, the more innovation, and that all benefits the consumer. Choosing to carry a firearm every day for the defense of yourself and your loved ones is a very big responsibility. From understanding your pistol, to knowing your local laws, all the way to understanding de-escalation techniques. But the most important factor in choosing a CCW pistol is that it is reliable and made by a reputable manufacturer. Furthermore, if you're like me, it's important that you enjoy the look and feel of the pistol that you carry every day. Yes, firearms are meant for that worst case scenario, but if you are carrying one every day and training with it, you should have some attachment to it. There's no shame in being partial to a specific pistol because you like the way it looks. Personally, I've been carrying a Hellcat for about two years now. My first Hellcat was FDE, and to be honest, that's one of the aspects that drew me to that specific pistol. I'm a sucker for all things FDE, Tan, and Coyote. When the Hellcat Pro was released, I really loved shooting it, but I felt like it was a little bit too large for me to carry at the 330 position. Keep in mind, I'm a 32 waist, so I don't have a lot of real estate to conceal. I picked up a Tolster Oath in the waistband holster, and I was quite frankly surprised at how comfortable and concealable the Hellcat Pro was. It was actually more comfortable than my original Hellcat without a wing on the holster. If you're not familiar with a wing or a claw, it's a small tab that sticks out towards the rear of the holster so that your belt pulls on the butt of the pistol and puts it inwards towards your body to make it more concealable. So for the past four months, I've been carrying the Hellcat Pro every day and I've been loving it. I feel much more confident carrying a slightly larger, more controllable pistol with a 15 plus one capacity. My only critique, where's my FDE? Well, I'm pleased to report that Springfield did not leave us FDE fanatics hanging. We've now got an FDE variant of the Hellcat Pro. Another added benefit is that the material used to create the FDE increases your accuracy by, just kidding, but you will look real slick on the range, and that's a fact. The Hellcat Pro and FDE has all the same features you've come to love in the micro compact line of Hellcat pistols. Sporting a 3.7 inch hammer forged barrel, front and rear slide serrations, melanite finish, optics ready with tritium U-dot sights, adaptive grip texture, and an accessory rail. All these features in a compact 15 plus one pistol makes this a great option for your CCW. So let's dive into what makes the Hellcat Pro in FDE a great choice for you. Starting with the heart of the gun, the hammer forged barrel is meant to take some abuse. The hammer forging process ensures that the barrel has unmatched strength and durability over the lifetime of the pistol. You won't be able to shoot enough rounds through this barrel to degrade it. On the rear of the barrel is a very handy feature for quickly ensuring that your pistol has a round in the chamber. Springfield added a loaded chamber indicator, which is a small opening between the slide and the barrel that reveals if the chamber is loaded or not. Adding to the reliability and functionality of the pistol are the front, top, and rear slide serrations of the slide. These ensure a positive purchase in any conditions, regardless of where you grip the slide. If you've carried and trained with the pistol for long enough, you know the wear and tear the finish takes. Springfield uses a melanite finish on the slide and barrel to ensure the Hellcat can withstand the toughest conditions. Continuing down that path, the Hellcat uses an adaptive grip texture on the grips, ensuring you always retain positive control of your pistol. The adaptive grip texture gives you maximum control of the pistol without being too aggressive as to rough up your skin during daily carry. The texture is quite ingenious, really. The pattern is made from staggered pyramid shapes the taller pyramids having a flattened top to ensure comfort against your skin while holstered. The shorter pyramids come to a point and lock into your hand when the pistol is firmly engaged in your grasp. Ergonomics on the Hellcat are also well thought out. The slide lock has a ledge around it to prevent larger hands from disengaging the slide lock after the last round, which is all too easy to do on most micro compact pistols. The magazine release is just large enough for ease of actuation while not being too big as to accidentally engage. The rear part of the mag release is smooth, while the front half has a nice serration for positively engaging when dropping the magazine on reloads. While the Hellcat is not fully ambidextrous, Springfield added the ability to reverse the magazine release so that lefties have an option as well. For the sighting system on the pistol, Springfield uses tritium U-dot sights, which are very intuitive to use even for new shooters. Instead of lining up the three dots, you set the dot into the cradle 
It allows for quick site acquisition in all types of environments. The Hellcat Pro is equipped with their OSP system or optical sight pistol configuration. This allows you to attach a micro red dot, such as the Hex Wasp or Shield RMSC. Since no adapter plates are required, the iron sights co-witness perfectly with these red dots. A must have in my opinion if you're carrying this pistol every day for self-defense. For sighting systems, one is none and two is one in my book. Another lesser mentioned feature on the Hellcat series of pistols, which relates specifically to a defensive situation, is the built-in standoff device on the guide rod. A standoff device keeps the muzzle of the pistol away from a point-blank target so that it can reciprocate properly. If you were to interrupt the slide movement during recoil, you could end up with an out-of-battery pistol, which will no longer continue to operate until pushed back into battery or cleared a malfunction. This small addition is just one more well thought out feature that Springfield added for users who may be depending on this pistol for their life. The Hellcat also has an accessory rail for mounting of a pistol light. Keep in mind, attaching a pistol light will affect which holster you will need to purchase, but it's a great added option rounding out the features of the Hellcat Pro. Features and specs are all great, but how does this pistol perform on the range, and what should you expect from carrying the Hellcat Pro? If you shot a lot of micro compacts, you understand how snappy they can be. Shorter barrels and grips are great for concealability, but not so great for controlling that pistol. The Hellcat Pro is a big leap forward for the micro compact world. With a 15 plus one capacity, the grip is long enough to get a proper, full, firm grip on the pistol. The extra slide and barrel length cut down the muzzle flip drastically. This keeps you on target for quick follow-up shots. The stock Gen 2 trigger on the Hellcat Pro is great. I'll spare you the crisp break and positive reset spiel and just say that this is a great way to interact with your pistol. It's a fair six to seven pound trigger pull for a defensive handgun, while not being so heavy that you end up pulling your shots in anticipation like a double action trigger. The take up is pretty smooth, the wall is easily discernible, and the brake requires minimal travel. Resetting the trigger is quick as it pops back into your finger, getting you ready to prep for follow-up shots. With the Hellcat Pro, you have the confidence and capacity of a much larger firearm, now in a much more concealable and stylish package. The Hellcat Pro ships with two stainless steel flush 15 round mags, which in my opinion is the minimum amount needed to get some good reps in on the range while practicing reloads. I'd suggest picking up a few more and stowing some in your vehicle, your EDC bag or purse. It's always nice to have a spare mag within reach. I feel like most of the time when picking a gun for CCW, you've got to sacrifice somewhere between concealability or comfort. With the Hellcat Pro and a good holster, you can have your cake and eat it too. Now with the FDE option on the Hellcat Pro, you can carry in style as well. You know I'll be.